Hey guys, Taufik here. Now, should you become a data analyst or should you choose to become a business analyst? And what exactly is the difference between these two roles? And more importantly, which role is more suited for you? This is a question that I keep getting asked and in this video, I wanted to share some insights from my own experience of working both as a data analyst and also as a business analyst. So I'm going to talk about four different things in this video. I'm going to start the video by telling you what exactly does a data analyst and a business analyst do or they're expected to do. We'll then see what are the similarities and differences in both these roles. We'll then see what are the skills required for a data analyst and also for a business analyst. And finally, I'm going to conclude by telling you as a person, uh, what are the qualities that a person should have in order to become a good data analyst and what qualities a person should have in order to become a good business analyst. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will be able to make an informed decision on which role is more suited for you. Now, before I can start, I would like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Guardio. Now, Guardio is a browser extension which helps us to browse online safely by acting as the first line of defense. Guardio will detect threats even before they reach our browser. Now, whenever we want to browse online, we use a browser, right? And several times, either knowingly or unknowingly, we might click on a malicious link which might result in our computer being compromised. A browser is a key tool we use every single day where we share our private messages, uh, crypto information, banking information, e-commerce, etc. Hence, by clicking on a malicious link, we are compromising on all of this confidential information about ourselves. This is where Guardio comes in. Guardio will protect your online browsing and information. It will avoid installing malware and falling victim to scams. So let me quickly show you how Guardio can help in making your online browsing safe. So I have installed Guardio on my Chrome browser and I will go to fishtank.org. This is a website where you can find hundreds of malicious website links. So I'm going to randomly copy a link and paste it into my Chrome browser. And as you can see, Guardio detected a threat and blocked this site and warned us about it. And trust me when I say these malicious sites are everywhere, even in Google search results, our emails, etc. So having Guardio can help us to browse the net safely. And once you have installed Guardio, you will have access to Guardio dashboard where you can see all the details of the online threat that you have faced. So if you want to have a safe browsing experience, go to guard.io slash techtfq to get a seven day free trial. And after the free trial, you can opt for monthly premium subscription for $10. But if you use my link, you will get an additional 20% off. And the best part is you can include four additional family members to the same plan. So thank you Guardio for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the video to look at the difference between data analyst and business analyst. Okay, so let's start this video by first talking about what exactly does a data analyst and a business analyst do. Now first, let's look at data analyst. Now data analyst is part of the IT team, that is the programming team or the development team. And in most cases, data analyst will have access to the data. He can access the data from the local database or from the cloud database or from the files. And once he or she has access to the data, they will need to clean the data, analyze the data, and then draw some meaningful insights from that data to solve a particular problem. A data analyst is also expected to build dashboards or data visualization in order to showcase their findings effectively to the stakeholders. And in some cases, data analysts may also be responsible for extracting the data either from some external system or by scraping the data from the web. This means that a data analyst will need to spend most of his time in extracting, cleaning, analyzing and visualizing data. And a data analyst is also expected to interact with stakeholders to showcase their findings. So this is what a data analyst does. Now let's look at what a business analyst is expected to do. Now, when it comes to a business analyst, business analyst may be part of the IT team and he may not be part of the IT team because in my current project, I have business analysts who are part of the business team and there are some business analysts who are part of the IT team. But in both the cases, a business analyst is kind of like a middle person who sits in between the IT team and the business team or the stakeholders. 
Now, a business analyst needs to have very good domain knowledge and also he needs to have very good knowledge of the software system that the IT team is building because it is a responsibility of a business analyst to go to the business, gather the requirements and then check the feasibility of that requirement being implemented in the system. So, he needs to understand not only the business side of things but also he needs to understand how the system works, right? And then once he gathers the requirement, he needs to come up with a technical design document and this technical design document he needs to share with the development team who are actually going to make the changes or the development in the IT system. Okay, so business analyst needs to understand both. He needs to understand the business side of things as well as he needs to understand the software system which the development team is building. Now, a business analyst is also expected to do data analysis because he needs to understand the IT system that the development team is building, right? So, in order to understand the system, you need to understand the data that is stored in the system uh, and only then he will be able to make a better decision when the requirement comes from the business. He will be able to check if the change or the requirement or the modification or the enhancement is feasible in the current system or not and if there is any bottleneck he can then report it accordingly. So this basically is what a business analyst is supposed to do. Now let's come to the second part of this video where I'm going to tell you the differences and the similarities in both these roles. First let's look at the similarities in a data analyst and a business analyst role. So the first thing is both data analyst and business analyst needs to work with data because they need to analyze the data in order to solve whatever problem they are meant to solve right that's the first thing the second common thing in both of these roles is that both a data analyst and a business analyst will be using sql and excel so when i say excel it can be any spreadsheet excel is the most popular spreadsheet it can be google sheets or any other spreadsheet but in most cases i would say in all the cases every data analyst and every business analyst will always use sql and will always use a spreadsheet tool like excel and the third similarity I would say is that both a data analyst and a business analyst is expected to have interactions with the stakeholders and when I say stakeholders it can be business users, it can be different product teams, it can be different vendors, it can be clients uh, or it can be uh, any partners uh, in the project right so they will need to interact with the stakeholders uh, it might be to showcase the findings that they have uh, in order to solve a particular problem or it might be to gather some requirement or to understand a particular problem better so interaction with stakeholders is part of both these roles okay so now let's look at the difference in both these roles now a data analyst is a more technical role and it may require you to do some programming either in Python or R or SQL etc. Whereas when it comes to a business analyst, a business analyst is a more a functional role where you will need to have very good domain knowledge and your communication skills and interpersonal skills matters the most. Now let's talk about the skills that a data analyst and a business analyst is expected to have. First let's look at the skills a data analyst needs. A data analyst will definitely need to know SQL, Excel or any other spreadsheet. He will also need to know either Python or R depending on what your company is using. And he will also need to use a visualization tool, maybe Tableau or Power BI or maybe in some other visualization tool that the company may be using. And in many cases, a data analyst is also expected to know statistics. Okay. Now, when it comes to business analyst, the skills that a business analyst will need is he will need to know SQL, he will need to know Excel. But more importantly, a business analyst needs to have very good domain knowledge and he needs to have fantastic communication skills and he needs to have very good interpersonal skills. Okay, now finally, let's conclude this video by talking about who should become a data analyst and who should choose to become a business analyst. So, let's say if you are a person who does not like to interact with a lot of other persons, maybe you are an introvert and you prefer to work with limited people with limited interaction and you're okay to do a little bit of programming and you don't mind spending most part of your time staring at the data, looking at the data in the database, uh, then becoming a data analyst is good for you. You will enjoy that work. But let's say you are a person who hates programming but you don't mind interacting with different people and you don't mind spending most part of your day in meetings and in discussions and you prefer to solve problem by having human interactions then business analyst is the role for you. 
I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure to like this video and give me a thumbs up. If you have any feedbacks or any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next one. Bye.